Ow! See what had happened was what's up? She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. What's up you guys? So I don't know how to justify this video. Welcome to my first ever Sephora haul. Now, did I spend a thousand dollars? I did. I know you guys are thinking, a thousand dollars, Neza, why would you do that? And I understand. So being in quarantine, I have basically run out of all of my products and just did not feel like going to Sephora. I do order a lot of stuff online from Sephora, but there's just some stuff. Oh, it's my baby. So anyways, yeah, I basically have run out of everything. Do you know what I did? I bought everything that I would have bought over the course of a year, basically, so that I don't have to go back. Also, I know I look ridiculous right now. I got this sweater today and I really love it, but I didn't feel like changing my pants. So I'm very aware that I look like a walking Jolly Rancher. This bag is so heavy, you guys, that when the girl handed it to me, I legit thought the bag was gonna rip. Everything in this bag was a total of like $800. But then I bought a bunch of stuff online because they were out of a bunch of the stuff that I really wanted because of TikTok. It was like another couple hundred dollars, which came out to a total of basically a thousand dollars. So let's begin. Some of these products I already love and have tried, and a lot of these I haven't tried. All right, so I'm gonna start with my face wash. This is my absolute favorite face wash. Last time I was at Sephora, it was sold out because people are starting to like get wind of it. That is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. I have sensitive skin, and this is the first time I've been able to use like a, I'm gonna show you guys. It's like a soapy kind of cleanser. So yeah, it looks like this. It has a little pump nozzle, but this is the first time that I have found a cleanser like this. It's like kind of soapy that doesn't leave my skin like tight and dry and just feels like ripped of everything. I'm obsessed with this. I know a bunch of people on the internet are also raving about it now, which I love because I've been using this for a while now, so yeah. Highly, highly recommend this. So we're just gonna continue with Youth to the People. This is their Superberry Hydrate Glow Dream Oil. I have a little sample size of this that just ran out, so I bought the full size. I'm obsessed with this face oil. It doesn't break me out. So this was $44. They do have like little travel kit sizes that you guys can test them out before. So I'm gonna do all like the skincare stuff that I have in here first and then we'll move on to like the makeup. Next is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. Now, I haven't really been using a toner in my skin routine, but I want to add one in and I saw Madison use this in her, was it Vogue? So yeah, I'm gonna try it. I love Laneige so much and this just looks great. And this was $33. Continuing with Laneige, I got two of the Lip Glowy Balm in Peach. If you guys don't already know, this is my absolute favorite. It's like a glossy balm, so it's not like a chapstick because I also have like my favorite chapstick. I can't live without these. I have one in every purse. I have one in my bathroom. I have one in my car. Like. I have them everywhere. The peach is my personal favorite. I also like the pink one. I also like the green one. The grapefruit, not really for me. And I believe these are $17 each, I think, from the top of my head, yeah. None of this is sponsored, let me add. There's no sponsors. This is just me raving about stuff that I love. Next, we have the Tatcha Dewy Mist. I'm sure you guys all know about this already. It's nothing new, but I am obsessed with this. Um, it makes my makeup looks super dewy and glowy and I haven't bought one in a long time so I grabbed a bottle today. If you guys have never seen this or used it, it looks like this. It makes your skin super dewy. Now, I will say this is very pricey. It's $48. This is the full size. They do have a mini as well. I don't use this every day for that reason but I am obsessed with this stuff. I've been for years and I highly recommend 
if you want that dewy glow. All right, so the next thing is the JLo Beauty Serum. Now, I've never tried this, but I want to look like JLo. If I don't look like that at 50 years old, then I don't want it. Really wanted the cream, but that is absolutely sold out. So I went with the serum because there was like two of them left. So this was $79. So I'm praying that this works. I love that she incorporated olive oil into her products and she's calling it the JLo Beauty Olive Complex because my mom was really big on using olive oil growing up like on her skin as well. So yeah, I'm excited and I'll let you guys know how this goes. Okay, we still have quite a ways to go. Okay, so the next thing is the Fenty Skin Fat Water. I've seen this everywhere. I've seen people rave about it. So I'm gonna try it. This is also a toner serum. This was $28, um, not bad. Yeah, also if anyone with sensitive skin is using it, let me know. Next thing I love, I got a mini version just because I got it like next to the register where they have all the mini things. You guys know how to pronounce it? Please let me know. It is the Caudalie, Caud, Caud, is it Caudalie, Caudalie. So sorry, but I'm obsessed with this stuff. I spray it all day, every day, and it smells so good. It's just like fresh. This mini spray was $18. Now this next thing was also something I picked up by the register. I've seen people rave about the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I've never used a primer um, to do my makeup or anything like that, but people rave about the Silk Canvas. And this is a liquid silk canvas primer, so I'm gonna give it a go. And this little mini size was $22, so I'm hoping I like it. So that was all of the skincare stuff. We're gonna move on to the makeup stuff. So first, I bought two new beauty blenders because I have no idea where all of my blenders went when I moved. They're 20 bucks, as I'm sure most of you know that. They're pretty pricey, but they last a long time and I love them. So yeah, these are my two new blenders. Next, I restocked on my eyeliner because my other one is starting to like flare out and stuff. This is the Better Than Sex Eyeliner by Too Faced. I love this stuff. And this was 22 bucks. Um, it's the only eyeliner that I've been using and it's actually really weird that I have an eyeliner in my makeup routine right now because I never used to wear eyeliner, but it's just been like a vibe lately. If you guys have any eyeliners that you recommend, let me know. I'm always down to try new things. Next, I restocked on my mascara and it is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It's 23 bucks, but definitely worth it. This next thing is random, but I picked up my birthday gift finally because I Never did, but it's this cute little NARS kit. So we're gonna open it and see. It's like a mini little lipstick and bronzer, I think, but how pretty. So I thought it was a lipstick, but it's actually like a bomb. And then it comes with this cute little bronzer. So I'm just gonna see how this... Guys, I'm obsessed. Now, I definitely wanna see what it looks like when I have like actual makeup on, but I think I might've just found another go-to, which doesn't ever happen. Next, I got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I got it in a mini, because I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it. This is in the shade Butter. This was $18, um, so yeah. I also got the Fenty Beauty Baby What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. I got it in a mini travel size, because I wanna see how I like it. And this was also $18. I also got the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Yeah, I bought the full size just because I've used this before. I haven't used it in a long time because I haven't had a setting powder in my makeup routine in forever just because I love to look like I'm sweating at all times for some reason. I don't ever really use a setting powder, but I'm going to start. And this was $39 for the full size. Now, this was one of those things that I didn't need because I have so many brushes, but this just looked so good next to the setting powder. So I got the Laura Mercier Glow Powder Brush. It looks like this and it just is so soft and 
you know? This brush was $38. So I bought a mini champagne pop highlighter. The full size was completely sold out, but I found this by the register. This has been my go-to highlighter for years on years. This mini was 22 bucks, but this is gonna last me so long, so. That's that. Next, I restocked on my NARS concealer. This is in the shade Custard. Yeah, this is my favorite concealer. I've been using this since the beginning of time, basically. And this was $30 for the full size. If you guys want to try them out, they also sell them in mini sizes, but. So next, I got the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumping Gloss. Got it this time in the shade Bubblegum Yum. This stuff actually works. You should check it out. This was... $29. Um, they also sell like a little travel size of the clear one if you want to try it. All right, so last but not least, I'm going to bring them all out at the same time because it's all Charlotte Tilbury. My blush that you guys see me wear basically every day is the Charlotte Tilbury blush wand. Now, it is sold out everywhere, even the contour one, which I also have and use, so I couldn't even restock on that. Now, I've been recently into overlining my lips a little bit, not anything crazy okay because my lips are already kind of there i wanted to try the charlotte tilbury lip kits they have a lip cheat reshape resize lip liner so i bought some of them i also bought this lip liqueur they were basically sold out of everything i'm surprised i was even able to land this i got it in the shade Pillow Talk Medium, regular Pillow Talk shade in the full size liner was absolutely sold out, but I managed to find this little Pillow Talk lip kit that has a mini of the Pillow Talk lip liner in it. So super excited to try these, see how it goes. Also, I'm excited about this highlighter wand. So the highlighting wand was $38. Lipstick was $22. Full size lip cheat liner was $22. And this little mini duo that comes with the lipstick and liner was $25. So that is everything. This is actually insane. I never thought I would spend this much money at Sephora at one, but here we are. Also, shout out to my little setup. This is what my camera was sitting on. You guys, that was my first ever Sephora haul. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys have tried any of these products, what you think about them, or if there's anything that I should try. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the family, and I love ya. We're doing great, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye!